In today's video, we're opening 24 old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another somewhat of a custom old school Yu-Gi-Oh booster box opening. I have gathered some pretty amazing packs. I got these mixed up for some reason. The newest pack we have is a Legendary Collection Yu-Gi's World First Edition, which is actually a pretty rare pack, plus a bunch of other old, old school stuff. Before we hop into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Korean Dark Magician Girl. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you wanna see pulled from these packs and what you wanna see from future vintage openings. All right, and before we get into it, we do have a whatnot stream tonight at 5 p.m. So if you like vintage packs like this, we're opening a first edition Magic Ruler box live on whatnot tonight at 5 p.m. Central. That's a whatnot exclusive. It will not be streamed on YouTube. So you're going to have to hop on over to whatnot to watch it. All you have to do is have an account. You don't have to buy anything or anything. But if you do want to buy stuff, we will be auctioning off packs for Magic Ruler first edition. There will be giveaways that will be free to for half of them will be free to everybody in the stream. Some of them will be buyer's appreciation, etc. But there will be at least 10 giveaways tonight. So there's a lot of stuff being given away. Speaking of giveaways youtube giveaways i'm pretty much caught up there's a few people i still need to ship but overall i've pretty much sent everything but not everything's been claimed so make sure you go to the youtube community tab and see if you guys want a giveaway and i also want to mention that we will be doing another live stream so we're doing what not thursday we're also doing another one friday searching for that starlight stratos we're going to be revisiting burst of destiny because look i've opened a lot of those packs and we've still not pulled stratos I'm going to be doing that Friday, assuming that I have all the packs by then, because I have some of them now and I'm getting a few more. If they don't get here, we'll have to do it Saturday or Sunday, but I'm planning for Friday right now. So keep an eye out for that. I'll be scheduling the stream ahead, of, like probably a, at least a day ahead of time. So keep an eye on the channel and see if I have a live stream up. Plan for Friday, probably sometime in the afternoon. Should be pretty fun. I'm excited for that one because hopefully we can finally pull that Starlight Stratos. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is an awesome auction platform that I'm sure you guys have heard about from me before. I currently do live auctions there pretty frequently and we're actually doing one this Thursday at 5 p.m. Central. And we're not just auctioning off anything. We're auctioning off a first edition Magic Ruler booster box. We're gonna do each pack. It's gonna be very exciting. We're gonna attempt to pull the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. One of you guys could potentially get it. We'll also be giving away a bunch of different things during the stream. All you have to do is go to Whatnot and be on the stream and have an account to win those giveaways. We're also doing a Rarity Collection 2 stream coming up very, very soon when that set releases and I have another big one planned for after that as well. So click the link below, get $15 free credit when you sign up for a new account. Type in Ruxin34 in the search bar, you go find my profile. You can save my show so you guys don't miss it. It's gonna be super fun. I hope to see you guys on Thursday at 5 p.m. Central because we're hopefully pulling that Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. All right, enough of that, but I do have one other thing that we're gonna be opening. It's a little box here. This comes courtesy of our friend Lars. So you guys will hear from like three times this week because we're opening something for him. He sent us a collection. You guys may, have, you guys already saw that one for sure. Uh, where he's where he's opening a 10, which is gonna be pretty, well, I'm opening it for him. It's gonna be pretty, it's a big 10. It's a blue eyes white dragon 10. That'll probably be tomorrow or something like that. So keep an eye out for a blue eyes 2002 10. That's gonna be super cool. He also sent me a package because if you guys remember my birthday opening, he sent me that box. Turns out he actually wanted me to keep the pulls. So first of all, Lars, you're already the best. So I really appreciate you sending like, and then he sent them back. So he sent us our pulls. He also sent us two packs to open for us. So I'm very excited about what, I don't even remember what we pulled. I just remember we pulled a few good cards, but I didn't know they were mine at the time. So let's see, here is what we pulled in the video. So I get to keep all these pulls, which is pretty exciting. And my birthday gift, it's uh, it's not late because it was on time, but then I sent it back thinking it wasn't mine. Okay. So we opened some core. Oh yeah, do we pull an ulti? Red Eyes Flare Metal? I feel like we did. Let's see, okay. We have all the promos. Okay, yeah, those are those are cool. Uh, Heraclinos, pretty nice. Heraclinos, Nitro Warrior. We got a Kinkabayo. The, ooh, War Chariot was nice. We have the Formula Synchron. Oh, I forgot about the Gosher and Aturia Beast. Uh, Herald of Forbidden, oh, we did pull the ulti, Red Eyes Flare. Herald of, Herald of Perfection, not the Forbidden Light. I don't know what I was gonna say. It kinda do look similar though. Ghost Rare, the ulti, Red Eyes Flare, Metal's big. Supers, High Speed Roid, Ultimate Rare Ignister Prominence. I forgot about that. Rosemary, Red Eyes, R2 and Lightning's a good one. Void Imagination's a good super. And then a Flares, oh yeah, we did pull both of these, didn't we? We didn't get the Ghost, but that was a pretty awesome opening. So once again, shout out to Lars. He also sent us two packs to open, which are both vintage and fit perfectly into the theme. Here's what Lars sent us. Gold Series Haunted Mine, and that's not even the best part. Two packs of the Duelist Genesis. So I'm excited about this. Late birthday present from Lars. Thank you so much. Let's, let's just start off with Lars stuff and then... You know what? I, I kind of want to save these Duelist Genesis toward the end. We might do that. Let's let's just start off hot with a Ghost Rare. You know, just start off amazing and then continue from there. So we're going to start off with a Ghost Rare. So a lot of 
playable Edison cards in here. Let's not spoil it. I don't the, the blue eyes in the middle somewhere. Let's just go for it. Uh, Hidden Spellbook's a good card. Tiki Curse. We have the Embodiment of Apophis, Regenerator Mummy, Mustering the Dark Scorpions, Goblin Zombie. Yes, I need as many of these as I can. I now have like three of them or something for Edison. Don's a Luke. Uh oh, I think I'm, I think I might know what we got there. A uh, little spoiler. We have Bone Crusher. There it is. OK, that's so much earlier in this pack. Why do I feel like it was really early? Solemn Judgment's a great one, though. Speaking of Edison's playable. Uh, giant print lines. So that'll just go in our uh, in our Edison box. I mean, who doesn't want to play a ghost shirt? That's pretty cool. And I love the gold ghosts. I think they look amazing. Uh, the, the foiling on them is really good. Now, if you like the gold part of it, may or may not. But Brianak, that's another good Edison card. Anything else? Dark Dark Hole's cool, but not exactly great. We have Cliff. That's a Edison card or a uh, goat card. I'll pull that out. And Tiki Soul. OK, cool stuff. All right. My pile is already pretty big. I'm going to save those duelist genesis for later oh no i'm joking okay first at extreme victory there's a lot of great packs here uh, the legendary collection i'm also pretty excited about i recently opened one for the patreon members and i got some pretty amazing pulls so i'm hoping we can continue that i got like i think we pulled like two or three pieces of exodia it was something crazy like that oh i gotta do flippity flip don't i i'm already getting hot in this sweatshirt so this might not be on the entire time oh yeah getting crazy over here tyrant tantrum we have mechlord army rosalie mechlord we have lantron and car curry Mechlord Fortress and Silent Psychic Wizard. That's a super rare. I'll take it. Not guaranteed. Super rare Silent Psychic Wizard. I got to move these sleeves up so I'm not reaching all the way over here to get these. All right. Nice start. We have a lot of old school packs being open. You know, that whatnot stuff coming up tonight. Make sure you guys bookmark that stream down below. Get $15 free credit if you guys haven't signed up with whatnot already. Uh, we do streams there a lot and we have a lot of them coming up. I'm doing one this week. I'm doing one next week for Rarity Collection and I think the next week as well. So we have like three straight weeks of whatnot. So if you want to win giveaways, if you want to see cool streams, if you want to see me burp, uh, that just happened anyway. So you don't have to go to whatnot for that. But go check that out because we are going to have a lot of giveaways, a lot of amazing openings. I haven't announced the three weeks from now one yet, but that's going to be a pretty huge opening as well. Uh, special hurricane. OK, so nothing there. That's old school. But yeah, make sure you can go check those out. Get that $15 credit if you haven't already. And uh, if you have still just go bookmark the stream, save it. I think I have two of them scheduled right now. I have the rarity collection. I have the one for tonight. So make sure you go do that. We got some big, cool stuff coming up uh, Four from the back. Pharaonic Guardian. We have Buster Rancher, Poison Mummy, Call the Mummy, Impachi, Master Kiyashi, Soul Eater, a living wonder of mystery. Very nice. Arsenal Bug, Royal Tribute. And a book of life. Let's go. Edison time. Zombies book of life. That is a beautiful, clean, super rare book of life. Edison is getting some serious boost right now in this opening. This is already a really, really good start. I'm excited. Let's open another extreme victory. These have been OK. We have not. I mean, there's nothing huge in extreme victory besides tour guide. And of course, the ghost shirt. It's just not even huge, but it's you know, it's a ghost shirt. I have not pulled either of these out of these like 70 packs we bought. I'm getting low on them at this point, so I'm hoping we can get at least one of those two. I would probably prefer the Ghost Shark because I've never pulled it, but I would not be mad at all with the Tour Guide because that's a great card. Reborn Tengu, that's isn't that a isn't that a format Tengu plant or something like that? Yeah, so Reborn Tengu format. There you go. You can use that. I assume it's referring to Reborn Tengu, right? Let's open a Dark Crisis. Did I just say Dark Crisis? Legacy of Darkness. Tengu. They're both blue, I guess. I don't know what. I guess that's what I was thinking. I don't know. Let's keep going. One, two, three, four. We have Warrior Digreffer. Dragon Dwelling in the Cave, Spirit's Invitation, Twin Head of Wolf, Frontier Wise Man, Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuvenation, Bad Reaction Smochi, and Fatal Abacus. All right, old school, very cool, very fun. Let's try. I also have a champion pack two back there as well. I don't, I mean, I don't have high expectations when opening tournament slash champion packs that there's going to be anything in there because I got them loose a while back. But if there is, I'm going to lose my mind. It, it has happened before. I have pulled a Blaze Accelerator out of a loose pack which was a super rare and champion pack six, I think. I'm pretty sure I got a 10 too. I think that's the one I have is a 10 was the one I pulled. Okay, Kurakuri Ninja, nothing too crazy there. The old school packs, you know, um, what do we have? We got a couple supers maybe. We got a, a Book of Light. We got Reborn Tengu. I think that's the highest we've gotten so far. So we want to get a little bit better than that. Pharaoh Servant, I last time I was saying, ah, oh, we're not going to get anything. And then we pulled a super rare immediately, so. I'm hoping we can get a super, an ultra, something good like that. Dark Fire Soldier number one, metal detector, flying common carry number two, three at a Guido, 
and a woman of extermination. That's a classic card. Another thing I want to mention is if you guys, oh look, you guys know about Poker Rex at this point, but some of you guys might not because that's just how my channel works. You know, a lot, some of you guys watch every video, some of you guys watch one video every week, you know, every month, something like that. So if you have not heard of Poker Rex, that's my Pokemon channel where we do Pokemon challenges and you, or maybe you just haven't checked it out because you are a Pokemon challenge fan, but you're like, I just haven't gotten around to it. Go give it a check out because our last video, I just posted it the day of recording this, uh, Mechlord Factory, Resonant Destruction. We have Resonator Call, Ghoster, and more Running Landron. I just posted it, and it's doing super well. So I'm super excited for that. So I want you guys to go check that out if you guys have not already. We posted a, a uh, Nuzlocke, Hardcore Nuzlocke, of Pokemon Yellow Legacy. Because pretty much every time I post that, I get a comment about, Hey, I didn't know you did Pokemon. Or uh, I got raided by Pokemon Challenges the other day, which was crazy on Twitch. Uh, you had like 2,000 viewers, so that was really cool. A bunch of them were like, Hey, I, Roxanne, I didn't know you did Pokemon. That happens all the time. So... I want you guys to know if you're into Pokemon that I do Pokemon. So a lot of you guys are like, I don't care about Pokemon. So stop talking about it. Yeah, so that's not for you guys. That's for the guys that are the people that I know like Pokemon and they just have not heard that I'm into Pokemon. We have Avatar of the Pot, one of the creepiest artworks of all time, like just absolutely scary. But yeah, that, that's it for Pokerux. I just want you guys to know the link is in the description of my video. So you can just type in Pokerux and it comes up. It's like the, you know, it has like Pokemon like text, Pokerux. There's like 12 videos on there. They're mostly, they're all full run videos at this point. That's all we do. I uh, used to do highlight videos. Now we just do full run videos. So you got like an hour long of content or whatever, whenever I post a video, which is about once a month, you know, because it takes a, a longer time to get those out. Mechler Fortress and TG1 EM1. Very cool. So uh, yeah, those, we only have one pull out of Extreme Victory so far. Okay, enough about Poker Rocks. Let's keep our focus on the old school packs. Invasion of Chaos. We've not pulled anything out of these because we haven't opened any yet. So let's see. I think I originally got like six of these loose or something and we maybe got a super. I don't think we've pulled anything big out of these. Dimension Fusion would be nice. K CED, obviously. BLS. Demock. I'll take any of those. The thing in the crater, we have Energy Drain. Really, any foil would be great. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness is Battle Prowess. We have Chaos End. Big Koala. Blazing Impachi. And Sasuke. 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 I used to call this Sasuke as a kid. That's before I watched Naruto, and I was like, I think that's Sasuke. Okay, Pharaonic Guardian, we are on a cold streak at this point. We still have, don't forget these, we still got some Duelist Genesis, which, you know, Coaster, Stardust, never been pulled by me. Very excited to potentially do that at some point. Hopefully today would be really cool. Four from the back, we have uh, Poison Mummy, Call of the Mummy, Impachi, Shape Snatch, Banner of Courage, Curse of Aging, Yomi Ship, Cobra Man's Kazakuzi. Ah, oh, the secret rare! Lava Golem! There we go! Now we got something! Secret rare, original print, Lava Golem! That is awesome! That is so cool. Also, the weird thing is I'm pretty sure I got this from an open 24-pack box, which doesn't make any sense because this is the retail secret. So, I'm guessing what happened is I got that per from a person. They had maybe mixed the boxes at their store or something. I don't know, because, I mean, that should not be in a 36... That's a 36-pack secret, not a 24-pack secret. And it was in a 24-pack box. But, hey, secret's a secret. I'm not mad. And if it was, it wouldn't be the first time the wrong secret's been in a box. That doesn't happen very often, like, very rarely. But it can happen. Let's do Labyrinth of Nightmare. That's a big secret. That's our biggest pull. We only have one secret. We have... Couple ultras. Let's see if we can keep it going. An ultra rare would be great. Labyrinth of Nightmare has some really, really awesome ones. You guys know which ones they are. This gentlemanly creature is extremely wicked, feared by men and fiend alike. Man and fiend alike. Not men, just man. Just the man. We have a uh, soul purity and light. We have Dole Deal Phantom. Mug with four faced beast. Boneheimer. <laughs> this monster wants us to see sucking dry any creatures it may encounter. Watch out for the Boneheimer. It will suck you dry. You got to be really careful around that. Unfriendly Amazon. Swords with a land star. Eh. Spiritualism. More old school cards. Another fail. Let's see about extreme victory. We are almost down to one of each, which is kind of what our, where I want to be. One of each left, you know, and then we can kind of just cruise through everybody. Three from the back. Flippity flop, floppity flip. We have unknown synchron, Scarlet Security, Axe Dragon, Eight Ruxa Special, Oregon Paragon, Six Samurai, TGX1HL, Tyrant's Tantrum, Hush Psychic Cleric, and an Overmind Archfiend. I Saw Syngard, I was like, maybe I should have slow rolled it. Overmind Archfiend, Ultra Rare. Our first Ultra of the day. We have an Ultra, we have a Secret, we have a couple Supers. Not a bad opening so far. Okay, we got to do one Pharaoh's Servant. I think it's one of everything except for Duelist Genesis. We might open one of those next. Can you please bless us with something crazy like a Buster Blader? We did pull one of those in first ed recently, but not for me. I would take an Unlimited. 
PSA 10 would be fantastic. Dark Fire Soldier number two, Cyber Falcon. Shout out by speaking of PSA, I've submitted two orders there. I posted the pre-grade to uh not well, it wasn't really a pre-grade, I just went through all the cards to the members on YouTube and Patreon. But there's like 60 cards in there that's gonna be coming soon. We also submitted the blue eyes white dragon for Ian and another card that I submitted. So a couple PSA returns coming in the next couple months. Oh, and there we go! Another awesome pull! The legendary fisherman. Is this thing? How's this look? It does have some back scuffing. It's probably a nine, but centering's not bad enough to knock it off just by centering. So maybe I will try this card in my next PSA sub. Yeah, that's a card. I mean, that's worth it. I mean, it's legendary fisherman. It may be unlimited, but it is classic. That is a good pull. Okay. I've had some good pulls today. So these Pharaoh Servant, I was doubting them, and they've kind of turned themselves around. The pretty few pretty big pulls, actually. Woo. Okay, that's exciting. Let's do okay. We have both of these. I'm gonna keep the original one last, like the actual. I don't know why. They, they screwed up the dualist genesis blister this is a this is actually an official konami blister look how boring it is it's dualist genesis and it should have a giant stardust on the back it would look so good they messed it up somehow this is when they stopped doing really really beautiful blisters like they did for like you know the old school 11 and stuff unfortunately they didn't do it for those i think i'm trying to think about the gx ones did they do it for gx i can't remember all right, this one has four additional cards, by the way, which is going to be a bunch of commons, but you never know. You never know. Let's see what Lars sent us in terms of these bonus cards. Let's see. We have <laughs> DB2, the Lost Millennium, Pharaonic Guardian, and PTDN. Those are classic cards, but they're all commons. Okay, that's fine. This is the one we're really hoping for. Duelist Genesis. At some point, I want to do like a massive like 200 pack opening of this. The problem is you just can't find these packs anywhere. So I'll probably just have to build them up on my own. But if, you, if somebody out there has a ton of Duelist Genesis just stashed away, hit me up. Maybe we can work something out. That could be pretty cool. Okay, assuming I don't pull it here because, you know, then I wouldn't need to find it. All right, Ghost Rare. I wouldn't mind pulling it now at all. I would not. I'd take an ulti. I would not be mad about an ulti. I'm going to do three just because I'm not sure. Three from the back. We have Domino Effect. Twin Shield Defender. Please give us a Ghost Rare. Sword of Kusanagi. Fish Depth Charge. Small Piece Golem. Centering is terrible. And these Krebons is actually nice. That's like an Edison card sometimes, I think. Uh, it's in my box. I don't know if people actually use it. I'm, try I'm sure one of the decks uses it. Tricky Spell 4. We have Desynchro. Oh, and a Light Sworn Saber. I got my hopes up for Charge of the Light Brigade for a second when I saw the Magic card or Spell card, but I'll take a Light Sworn Saber. A Super is a Super. That is not bad at all. Okay, we're down to like maybe 10 packs, something like that. Uh, let's start off with the Extreme Victory. Uh, we've got some big stuff coming up, so let's see what it will be. I'm excited to pull something big. So far, it's been a good opening. Three from the back. Flippity flop. Give us that Ghost Rare or the Tour Guide. We have Axe Dragon it. Mech Time Blast, Karakuri Ninja, Fortissimo, TG Jet Falcon, Morphtronic Staplin, We Have Soundproofed, and Shein's Dojo, Foil's a Foil. Shein Dojo is not bad for the Six Samurai, so very cool. Good stuff there. Let's finally do this Legendary Collection Yugi's World. <sighs> Can we get that Dark Magician Girl? That would be pretty huge. First Dead Dark Magician Girl from Legendary Collection Yugi's World is actually like $300 card, something like that. So that's obviously big. We have Tricky Spell 4. Let's see if we can just get something awesome like Exodia, Demok. Is it Demok that's in here? I think Demok's in here. Maybe BLS too. Penalty Game, Non Spell Casting Area, Chain Destruction, DD Warrior. I might be next, to be honest. Okay, Green Gadget. That's not it. Uh, so Secret is next after this, I think. Okay, Spell. Prohibition. A good card. Not huge, but a good card. Reckless Greed. Okay, so not a huge pack of Yugi's World, but still really fun. A lot of cool cards in there. Let's do the champion pack now. Champion pack game two. Let's see what we can pull. Can we get... I don't know where the, the card is. I don't think it's at the front, but I can't really remember. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a pack trick on these three card packs. Let's just go like that, just in case. We have Thunder Dragon. That's a good card. Thunder Dragon's good. Book of Tight. I guess it was at the front. And then Ring of, Ring of Destruction. Speaking of, we thought we were going to get that as the secret out of Front of Guardian. Instead, we got Lava Golem, and then we get it later as a rare. All right, cool stuff. Can't really be mad with what we pulled today, so anything else we get is kind of a bonus. I mean, honestly, it's been a pretty respectable old school opening, for especially with the ratios you can expect. But I know ratios guy is going to be in the comments, but uh, Wall of Reeling Light. I know there's no ratios because they're loose, but Monster Gate. But yes, just what you could expect in terms of loose packs. You know, you usually don't get a lot. 
uh, Talisman Spell Ceiling. So getting like anywhere close to a normal ratio is really cool. I'm going to save IOC. Let's go to Front and Guardian. PGD. Let's see if we can get something big. Don't forget about Whatnot stream tonight, 5 p.m. Central. It's going to be pretty big. We got Magic Ruler. We're not opening Magic Ruler right now, but that's okay because we're going to do it tonight. 24 packs of first at. We have Reasoning. It's a go card. Master Kianachi, Soul Eater, Living Wonder, Mystery. Arsenal Bug, Ruxin Special. A Claw Scorpion, Swarm of Scarabs. Narrow Pass, Molten Behemoth. And Weak Sage Felicos. More old school cards, but yet nothing big in that one. Let's see. I was going to say, yeah, but that's not true. Labyrinth of Nightmares? No, no. Legacy of Darkness. So I was like, which one are we opening? One, two, three, four. Can we get a secret rare right here? Legacy of Darkness. I would love Inject Very Lily. It'd be amazing. Where did I grab her? Dragon Dwelling in the Cave. Spirit's Invitation. Spirit Ryu. Spiritual Energy Settle Machine. Super Robo Lady. True Dragon. And an Air Knight Bard Shaft. Add that to the list of awesome pulls today. This is a great opening. Old school Air Knight Parshath Ultra Rare, our second Ultra of the opening in basically 24 packs. We got a secret. We got two Ultras. I don't know how many Super. No, we got three Ultras if you include Extreme Victory. So those are a little bit different ratios in Extreme Victory packs. But still, wow, we are crushing it right now. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Let's keep it going. Sometimes you have a dud old school opening and sometimes you have an awesome one that makes up for it. And this one is doing pretty well. Four from the back. LON, if you could get us another ultra, we'd really be ahead. Spirit Elimination, Skull Lair, Mario Kutai, Portrait Secret, The Dark Door, Dream Sprite, and we have Amphibian Beast. Okay, we're down to three packs. Let's do Pharaoh Servant because IOC is, you know, a little bit rare in terms of the original packs. Well, not, I guess in the original packs, they're pretty similar, but maybe IOC is a little rare. Pharaoh Servant, let's go. We just don't open them as much when they're original. Four from the back. We have World Suppression, Burning Land, Dark Fire Soldier number two, Buy Shoes, Rux Special, Souls of the Forgotten, Gust, Insect Barrier. We have this Spike Bot, and. Ah, what? How is that even possible? Two legendary fishermen. This was a little bit more off center, but two in the same set of packs? That is insane. That is so awesome. And that's one of the best ultras, probably behind Thousand Eyes Restrict and Buster Blader. That might be it. Maybe Call of the Haunted or something. I'm talking about Iconicness. This is one of the, the top ones. I mean, Call of the Haunted's more playable, obviously. That is so cool. All right, I was not expecting to pull two Legendary Fishermen. That's insane. So it's such a good opening. IOC, I don't mind if you tack on and just give us something amazing as well. To get us ready for whatnot tonight, maybe we'll get double Blue Eyes tuned tonight or double Relinquished or something crazy. Four from the back. We have Coach Goblin from Rocky. Souls. Big on Nave. Bugroth. Sylphid. Hand Mirror. We got Molten Zombie. Last pack of IOC. Here we go. Soul Tigre. And Berserk Gorilla. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. It's a classic card, but not a big hit. Last pack magic from Lars. Duelist Genesis. Original Blister. Can we pull the Ghost Rare? Let's go. <sighs> original Duelist Genesis. Can we pull a Ghost Rare right here? You gotta believe. Come on. One, two, three. I don't remember what it was. Let's just stick with three. We have Space Gate, Telekinetic Shark, Last Pack Magic. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, check out Whatnot Tonight at 5 p.m. Central. Here we go. Gear Town, Book of Eclipse, Medium Peace Golem, Psychic Rejuvenation, Jude Fighter, Fighting Spirit, and Ghost Gardener. All right, nothing in that last pack, but overall, an amazing opening. And shout out once again to Lars for sending me those awesome packs. Shout out to Tone Foe Show, Anessa Deanda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F, Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.